I got my fishing license last week. Was Just it last like week? We always talked about. Was it actually last week? I thought it was this week. No, I got it today. Oh, so it was in fact this week. But next week I can say I got my fishing license last week. Just like we always talked about. You were so excited for me to catch that big trout. Oh, look at this. Boom. Baller. I actually, like, think about this. Like, in my hand right now, mm -hmm. I'm holding, like, $200 worth of Pokemon well, I'm cards. I'm holding 100 grand. <laughs> really? Like that episode of The Office where he's like, <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? So you can get a payday, and eventually you'll make a hundred grand. grand. What is the first one? Dang it. I forget. Oh, my god. Well, my mom and I went to this flea market last Friday. There's this flea market near me that's only open on Fridays, and it's the um, biggest flea open-air flea market in the tri-state area. <laughs> Bring Ew, it back to uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. You're the worst. No, that's what they say, though, is the tri-state area. That's so weird. I live in the tri-state area because West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Ohio are all right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, But they had... Is... Huh? I was going to say, what is up? But they had... um. There was a shop that I bought this box. Well, I got the box sitting next to me, actually. This box... <laughs> okay. This box of was full of candy. Okay. About eight pounds, and I paid five bucks for it. Eight pounds? Eight pounds of candy for five bucks. And they were like king size. My mom got 110 Tootsie Pops for $10. Dang. They were selling beef jerky for a dollar a bag. Oh. And beef jerky is wow. expensive. Dude, there's a couple open air markets in uh, Lancaster that I want to go to. Yeah, this place was pretty lit. My mom got like poppets, like you know those like poppet things. Yeah, that yeah. kids are loving. Yeah. She got um she got like four of them for ten dollars, and like we went to other stores and there were smaller ones for ten dollars. Oh dang! But those those things, those That's things are mad cool. money makers. I know they are. So how was your what week, dude? Hell? We haven't like really talked in like two weeks. Dude, my week was tiring. Tiring? Why? I was mad busy last weekend painting my bedroom and doing some work around it, putting up some lights, installing some fans. I did like a bunch of oh my gosh. Had my buddy uh the swag lock come over and help me paint. Oh, a he's pretty bit. famous, isn't he? Yeah, he is pretty famous. Some famous this birthdays dot com. This famous guy came over, helped me. Uh, isn't he like the bedroom. most famous? Isn't he like the most famous TikTok star from Pennsylvania under twenty five or over twenty five? Maybe I have no idea. According to famous birthdays, he is. Oh my gosh, dude! I'm not gonna lie. I was at Bible Club this week, and I went around at some of the like. There was like a senior, and I went up to him. And I was like, "Hey, see this guy on famousbirthdays.com? He was like, "Yeah." I was like, "I know him." I oh, dude, there. he got he got pushed up a lot farther though. No, he he dropped a bit like the last couple of days. This was Tuesday that that happened. Oh yeah, he's at forty three thousand now. He was at like twenty three thousand. No, he was at fourteen thousand. Oh, Tuesday. he's at forty three thousand now. Yeah, his he peaked at fourteen thousand. Oh damn! And that's when I showed these people. That's kind of funny, but. So go boost, go to finish birthdays, look up the underscore swag lock and boost him. Do it now. Boost Pause it, the baby. podcast and go do it now. Boost it, baby. So other than that, it, just, it was just tiring. So I, like after having like a super tiring weekend, we I was just, I've just been like so tired this week. Mm. And I've just been trying to just kind of stick it, stick it out. Just... I had a tiring weekend too. I've just been trying to stick it out and just, oh, dude, it's it's been rough. This week, this week has actually been kind of rough. Dude, I've I've been tired this week too, but that's because I actually did stuff all last weekend. Yeah. 
So my mom and I, my mom got up here Thursday. Um, Thursday? And I should, sorry guys, I should have scheduled for the podcast to just be posted on Saturday. But I forgot. And I, from like Thursday to Tuesday, was mad busy. So that's why you didn't get it up till Tuesday. But, uh, um, so my mom came up Thursday. Yeah. I had like Bible club and I met my mom at like eight o'clock, nine. Yeah. Like eight o'clock, nine or eight thirty or something like that. Thursday night. Um, yeah. yeah. And yeah. yeah. So Friday there was some stuff I needed to take care of and she like helped me with it. Like I needed to do some stuff with the DMV. What sucks. Um, I needed to do some stuff at the bank. Then we went to go to this open air market. So we did that all in the morning. And then like the the stuff when you get done. Then we went to this open air market um, in the afternoon. And she was staying in a hotel. Um, Wait, why? Why? Cause she normally just why? does. Normally when she comes out, she, she, stays, she likes to stay in a hotel... Well, when, this is the first time it's just been her that came up. And I was, oh, okay. she ordered the hotel, and I was like, well, Mom, it's just you. You can stay in the apartment with me. And um, she was like, like well, in the part. past when I've come up, like, there's been times that we need, like, a little bit of a break from each other, and I'm going to be up a lot, so I'm just going to stick with the hotel. And I was like, okay, fair. And it ended up being a great thing, and I'm going to get to that in a second. So we went back to the hotel, and we were chilling. Um, at the hotel, and I reached in my pocket for my keys, and noticed they weren't there. Oh! And I looked over where I, where I put my wallet in her hotel room, and my keys weren't in the hotel room. So I went out and checked her car because we were in her car all day, and they weren't in her car. Um, and I knew I'd had them at a certain point because we'd gone to the church, and I'd go use my keys to get in. Yeah. Um, so we went, well, this is like 5.30. We called the place that we went to for like a late lunch, and they were closed. It was like a deli that they're not open for like dinner. Um, so they were closed. And I was like, okay, so we went, I called some people and got into the church. We're like, okay, maybe yeah. I put them on my desk in the church, and I actually left them on my desk. Weren't there. Well, like I said, the only places we'd been to, other than that, was this open air market, which is like acres of open air market, um, a half hour away, that's only open on Fridays to like four. Mm -hmm. um, the the DMV that closed at five, and the bank that closed at five. Oh dang! And we went to church and they weren't there, so we were like, "Well, I'm kind of glad my mom got a hotel because then I just stayed in the hotel with her." Yeah. Friday night. Well, Saturday, um, well, the more and more we thought about it, the more and more we were like, they fell, they fell out of my pocket at the bank. They had a fun out of my pocket at the bank. And we looked, and the bank wasn't open on Saturday. And Monday was President's Day. So the bank oh, wasn't going to be open to Tuesday. Yeah. So, Saturday morning, I woke up, went use the bathroom and while I was on the toilet, called the DMV. Uh, and I was like, hi, my name's Jim. And they're like, oh, you left your keys here. And I was like, oh, thank you. So, we went and picked them up. Then we went to the <laughs> mall and the movies, and it was a great day. But I, was, I barely slept at all Friday night because I was Man. mad stressed out about it. Yeah, I don't blame you. Because, like, my car keys were on there. My church yeah. keys, my apartment keys. Um, yeah. Losing, I feel like losing stuff like that is like and my, literally. Yeah, my backup, I had a backup car keys and backup apartment key, but they were in my apartment. Yeah. So you'd have had to call like your landlord. Super. Yeah. yeah your yeah. landlord. And be luckily, like, my landlord here. owns a business and luckily they're open on Saturdays. Saturday mornings. So I'd call, I would have just called them. Yeah, but you figured it out. Dude. Yeah, so we were good. Dude, losing, losing like your keys or like your wallet or 
your phone are is literally like I the feel most like keys is like the mo- more the most stressful out of all of them. Cause for like, me, I think it'd be wallet. <laughs> yeah. Because well, for me, I could still get in my house if I don't have my keys. Oh, that's true. Uh, and I with would, like, phone, pray with that, phone, like, like you've got like like find my iPhone. Yeah, like phone phone's the least of my worries to be yeah, honest. Yeah, wallet, like worst case scenario, like what? I lost twenty bucks and I just had to cancel all of my cards. That that re- to me would be the most stressful. I I would hate to have to go through and literally cancel all my cards. Well, I don't I've only got like a debit card. I ha- I would have to cancel three accounts, four accounts. Mm. Okay. So I mean, was... okay. Uh, now I'm sounding kind of like a jerk. Like, oh, this guy's got all this money. <laughs> no, I just, I just have like an Amazon card because it makes sense to have an Amazon card. I, you know, I get a good bit from Amazon, and then we have two different bank accounts, and then I have an yeah. HSA card. So. I'm yeah. not cool, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, dude. No, if I lost my wallet, I would like lose my mind. Yeah. Keys would be the second worst. So, I want to talk about Russia. <laughs> no, we're not a political podcast. <laughs> we're no. a war three, baby. No, we're not a political podcast. We're a war three. <laughs> Let's go. No, um, yo, if there's a draft, I just want, I just want them to do it like the NBA or NFL draft. Oh my god! The gosh. first pick. In the U.S. military draft, <laughs> Joe Biden selects. Joe Biden I almost selects. dropped your last name. Oh, <laughs> the crazy thing is, with my job, I would be like the last person to go over in a draft. So I'm actually kind of hype about that. But like, this is the last thing we'll say about it because Jimmy's right. We're not political. If if this does happen, this is not they're not gonna need a draft. This is not gonna be a war like past wars. Yeah. This is gonna be this is gonna be like an all out massacre. Yeah. Like I hope it doesn't get to that point. I really do. Yeah. I really don't. I So how I don't many holes it. are in a straw? Stop. Okay. So actually um, my brother and I, Dave Rookie, he's been on here. Um, we were we were at Raising Cane's and he was like hey can you hand me a straw and I was like I grabbed one I was like how many holes are in the straw and he was like one I was like crack sir and I gave him the straw (laughs) correct (laughs) hey brother and then he was like he was I said did you say that because you know it was the right did you Say that because that's what you think or that's what you knew I wanted to hear. And he's like, no, that's the only answer. It is only one straw, only one hole. And I was like, you're right. So my when my brother was here. Oh, so yeah, that all happened. My mom was here to like Sunday afternoon at like three. She left at like seven. My brother got here mm-hmm. and he wanted to do a bunch of stuff. And so like we just, I was just tired. So we like... Literally, what yeah. me and my mom did on Saturday, me and my brother did again on Monday. We went yeah. into the big town, ta- like the big town near me, and went shopping yeah. and went to the movies, got some stuff to eat because there's a lot of, like there's a lot of like really good restaurants, like Steak and Shake, um, yeah. and other like really good restaurants in uh that town over. But me and my brother went and watched a really good movie, um. That I actually low key really want them to make into a video game. Oh? Yeah, it had Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg in it. I hate you. You are the worst. <laughs> Uncharted. Dude, that was such a good movie. I really think they'd make a really good video game. <laughs> You're the worst, dude. I, dude there's I've been some meaning good to movies. tweet that. You think that'd be a good tweet? That would be a pretty good. Tweet I think I'm gonna there. tweet that. <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty good movies coming out. I, I'm actually kind of hyped to watch dude, the Batman movie. Loki, dude, go see Uncharted. If you are wanting to go see a movie, go see Uncharted in the movies. 
it was Tom Holland did a fantastic job. Oh yeah, I hear it's like a uh, great movie. It was such a good movie. Um, it Yo, was so well done. I'll tell you right now, if I'm going to the movie, if I'm going to see a movie anytime soon, you know what it's, it's the gonna Batman? be. No, it's probably gonna be Spider Man if it's still in. Oh yeah, which it, I think this weekend yeah, is probably the last Spider Man. What'd you say? Yeah, you need to go see Spider Man. I think this weekend is probably the last time it's gonna be in theaters because I think it comes out on digital this week. I already can watch it on Voodoo, which is weird. It co- it comes out on the majority of like the rest of digital platforms this week, mm. like YouTube and Apple and like Google Play, all those. Mm. So this is probably the last weekend you'll be able to watch it in yeah. theaters. It's a mad good movie, but uh. No, he did an amazing job as uh, Nathan Drake. Yeah. And the, okay. there's an actor. Do have you been watched Outer Banks? No. Okay. Well, there JJ from Outer Banks is like Nathan Drake's older brother, and I yeah. swear that man only plays one role. Because oh, you know the premise of like Outer Banks. No. So like, they're trying to find gold from a ship. Like, it's very similar to, like, Uncharted. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but, and so the guy, like, is literally, like, he's only in, like, the opening scene. But he's, like, literally plays the same character as Outer Banks. Outer Banks is a good show, too. I suggest that as well. Uh, we just finished Love is Blind this morning. I the second season. I don't have Netflix anymore. I, honestly, I wouldn't get it to watch it either. There's a few it, other stuff I want to watch, but it's it's pretty much like almost like the same exact thing as <laughs> the first season. Like yeah. I feel like even the drama in this one is almost the same as the first season. Rip. And um, but we're not talking. We don't we don't talk about like that kind of stuff. Nope. This isn't that kind of podcast. Nope. It's a WWE podcast. This is a WWE podcast. Spoiler alert. WWE Logan Paul. Wait, but hold on. Back to movies. There is that basketball movie that I kind of want to go see, actually. What's that? Oh, uh, what is it called? Oh my gosh. But it's like it's like a movie about um like like eighty basketball in the eighties. Oh, that's like an HBO uh, documentary. It's, it's like it's Kareem and uh uh Showtime. The Showtime Lakers. Yes. Is that in that's not in theaters, is it? Uh no, it's how oh, what is that called? Um it's not in theaters yet because I just looked at what's Whoa, it called. So bad. But um Is it going in yeah. theaters? What'd you say? I didn't think it was I thought it was like a uh Oh maybe it's a documentary. Yeah, I thought it was like Showtime. I keep seeing like yeah I keep HBO seeing... HBO oh what's it called Showtime Lakers HBO what is that yeah called? dude I kind I kind of want to watch it's that. like it's a it's because it's like a TV show it's oh, okay it's a ser- like a docu series kind of thing it's I I think they have like actual people playing like these things but it's going yeah they have like actors like um put like. Quincy Isaiah is playing Magic. Um, oh dang! When does that come out? Um, yeah, dude, that that looks mad good. I keep seeing like things for it on on TV, and it's March sixth. <laughs> Literally, the first thing that comes, the first thing that, <laughs> and we don't. I don't really like the. Uh, it's not bad. This isn't a bad thing to say. The first thing that comes out of this commercial literally the very first thing that comes out of this commercial is is the guy that like i think i think he's the either the owner of the lakers or the coach of the lakers at the time and he's like it might be yeah but he's narrating it and it says he's like there's only two things that make me believe in god sex and basketball and i'm just like oh my gosh what the heck that is like the greatest catch line for a commercial uh, well, I hate basketball. Shut I up. I 
don't do anything basketball. Basketball is your favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. <laughs> basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. That's a legit song. Oh, dude, hold on. I've been watching this movie on... I want to see if you can guess this movie. It's a sports movie. I've been watching this movie on cable a lot. Um, I'd say it's one of the easily top ten of sports movies. Boy, ever bro. No, it's going to be Coach Carter. Because you like no. Coach Carter. No, um, no, no, no. It's actually... Hold on. Glory Road's and, my favorite, though. And Katie has never seen this movie. But if you the say reason Space why... Jam... If you say Space no. Jam... No. It's not Space Jam. If you say um, Like Mike... No, it's not. No, it's not a basketball movie. Uh, um, remember the Titans? No, it's not football either. Um, uh, but it's, it's no. Feel it's, the dreams. No, um, it's it's also more of like a kids movie. I watched this movie growing up all the time. Hmm. Airbud. If you say no. Airbud. No, it's literally probably like the greatest kids kids sports movie. Oh well, that's Space Jam. No, it's not. What movie are you talking about? Once, once you, once I say, you'll be like, "Oh, that is a really good movie." Um, what I'd if say I say I'd never seen that. I would be shocked if you've never seen this movie. Literally shocked. Kids sports movie, not like Mike. No. It's baseball. It's baseball. That probably gave it away. Oh, to be I think I know what you're talking about, but go ahead and say it. It's the Sandlot. Oh yeah, I easily say that's one of the best movies. Kill best me, Smalls. Oh, uh, dude, I've I've been watching that a lot, and Katie was like, "I've never seen this movie." And I was like, "Really? Like this isn't even really necessarily like that big of a sports that's movie." That's Dave's like favorite movie. I I really do like that movie. That's a good movie. But have you seen Glory Road? Glory Road. I have, yeah. That's a good one, too. Do you remember the Titans? I have not actually seen that movie. What's an, what's another one that, like, would shock you? I've never seen uh, Field of Dreams, either. Which is, like, probably notably the best baseball movie ever made. Oh, my God. Gosh, look at this guy. You know I'm not huge into sports, but I, I should watch Field of Dreams. That is probably notably like Field of Dreams doesn't make you cry. I can't be your friend. Can't be your friend. That is probably like notably the best baseball movie ever made. If you build it, they will come. What? If you build it, they will come. Oh, will they come? Interesting. (laughs) Interesting. That's the premise of the show. He builds a baseball field, and uh, (laughs) MLB legends show up and play. What is what is the other one? Um, remember the Titans? No, Moneyball. No, Moneyball. Yeah, uh, no. Is it called the Rookie? The other yeah, movie? that's a baseball movie. I'm not sure I've seen that one. I don't. I think I've seen it like once. I might have seen it. Um, but I know the Rookie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's uh. Yeah, what, we're, 20, where are we we're 23 minutes in. Oh, okay. Let's 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 do this uh, new thing we talked about. So we're we're gonna try to do this this thing uh, where we ask each other a question every podcast. Uh, and, and if you guys want to give us questions to ask each other, go ahead. Uh, put it in the Discord comment section wherever. Uh, try to keep it like legitimate questions. Um, and, and like if they're like kind of trolly questions. Make it something that like is a legitimate trolley How question. How do you feel about uh, um, Gary V? Yeah, like no, like make it like something like that we can be a little more personal about, and we can. Um, we want to use this like for you guys to get to know us like, a yeah. little bit better. So like, so like use some of like our examples when you're thinking of questions. So uh, like an example. One of the examples that uh, I gave Jimmy earlier was like, uh, um, and I'll use this one for this one. Uh, the example I gave Jimmy was, hey, uh, what would you have been career-wise if you weren't a youth pastor 
Or like if you weren't in your current field, like I'm an engineer, obviously. So like what would I have done if I didn't get into engineering? Like same with Jimmy, like what, what, what would Jimmy have done if he didn't get into ministry? And, and I, and for Jimmy, it's a little bit harder because I'm going to narrow him down to anything. I'm going to narrow him down. I'm well, gonna you, narrow... I can't say like camping ministry. Or... Yeah. Like you can't like Jimmy's a youth pastor right now and he can't just be like, Oh, I'd be a missionary pastor. Yeah. Or like a missionary. Um, so I'm gonna no. Uh, I've, we'll got a, I've got a. I've got a. I've got a legit answer. Okay, I'll I'll go first on this one. I and this is something I almost honestly almost did. I was going to be a teacher. No. Oh really? Uh, yeah, really? I actually really wanted to be a teacher growing up. You'd be a good teacher. Um, I'd like to think I'd be a good teacher too. Uh, the only re- the one of the reasons why I did there's two reasons why I didn't get into teaching, because at the time. Teachers were very, like, readily available. Like, a lot of people wanted to be teachers, and there was a lot of teachers that didn't have jobs. So I was like, eh, like, job security being a teacher isn't... Excuse me, job security being a teacher isn't, like, the greatest. So maybe, like, you know, maybe, you know... Would you want to be, like, high school, middle school? Uh, if I was a teacher, I would probably want to be like a high school teacher. I was if saying, I, was I first a... think teacher, I think elementary. And I was like, <laughs> I don't see you being an elementary school teacher. No, like I'd want to be like a, like an AP math teacher yeah, or like saying, a, I see you be like a math teacher or like a band, a band director <clears throat> was also out there. <clears throat> Never dirt. Or like a, like a computer, like a, you know, like <clears throat> <a design. clears throat> nerd, nerd, but Literally, one of the classes I took in high school was a, a web design class, and it really got me into like coding and like being designing, being being a little being a designer and like designing stuff, and that kind of got me into engineering mm-hmm. and where I'm at now. But I, for a long time, I really thought I was going to be a teacher. Yeah, that's good. I would have been a skateboard photographer. No, stop. That's okay. legit a job I wanted as a kid. When Wait, we were really? Making the, yeah, when we were making those really cringy YouTube videos, <laughs> I was like, I remember telling my mom, like, yeah, when I grow up, I want to be a skate photographer. And one of those videos we watched the other day, you literally hear me say, well, David said if he ever goes pro in skateboarding, he's going to bring me along as his photographer. And like oh videographer, God. that's kind of funny. Um, no, but probably some with sports. Um, at one point in college, I changed my major to exercise science because I wanted to be a. I forgot um, about that. I wanted to be an athletic trainer. I forgot like, about that. like doing like pre wrap and like preventive, um, like training or like. Um, things with like the body of like preventive of injuries and helping athletes through injury. Um, so like doing like pre-wrap and like, um, icing and like stretching and stuff like that. Um, and then like going, sitting at like basketball games or whatever and being like, if a guy gets hurt, being the person who like runs out with like the first aid kit, um, that's something I wanted to do, like, because I love sports. Um, I've always kind of had an interest in, like, first aid and stuff as well. Um, Interesting. I don't think I ever knew that. Yeah, just from, like, Boy Scouts and stuff. Oh, that is um, true. And when I was the ba- my freshman year of college, I was the basketball manager. So I oh, spent, I spent, I, a, I spent a lot of time in the athletic training room, like, getting. Like, yeah. getting the guy, like, or like, getting things ready for practice, or like, getting the ice. Um, and like the water ready for practice and just yeah. hanging out with like, and I got to see like guys like sit on the tables and get wrapped and just, I thought it was so cool. Like how the athletic trainers like got to have such a personal relationship with the athletes. Yeah. And I was like, that is true. I was like, I think I would really like being like at a big school, um, like a D one school. Like my dream would have been to be an athletic trainer at like a D one school or something like that, or like Ohio a, State, or or like a pro team, um, yeah. 
and getting to know the athletes and being able to like witness to them, like yeah, have conversations cool. about God and stuff with them. Yeah, um, that's kind of dope. But another thing is, I actually had a um, psychologist, psychiatrist. Yes. Um, like growing up, and he always told my mom that he saw me being like a sports talk show guy, or like a broadcaster, or like a sports analyst. Because another thing I like numbers make sense to me, like statistics. Like in college, everyone like dreaded uh, problem stats. I looked forward mm-hmm. to it. I took a elective um, J term class called Fun with Statistics. Statistics. Uh, what? Yeah. Fun with stats. Yeah, fun with stats. That sounds like such a weird class. Fun with stats. Yeah. Um. And it was <laughs> it was like the one of the reason I picked it was like exercise science. Like like the the chairman yeah. of the exercise science department ran it. And like we did a lot of like sports stats and like, yeah. we, like it was an easy like it was a it was a one month class, um we took like a class for like an hour every day, or like yeah. an hour or like three, three hours every day, um or no two hours every day, but I really enjoyed it and I've always been that kid who's like, why well, one of the reasons stats just makes sense to me is I've been that kid like as a kid, watching sports was like obsessed with stats. Like, I used to go to my brother's baseball. Like, I didn't play sports growing up, but I would go to my brother's baseball games with, like, a stat book, and I would keep, this like, the stats on, like, the sidelines. And I would watch TV with my stat book and, like, keep score for, like, the Orioles games. Um, and I would do that for my, my brother when, we go, when he would play basketball. I would sit there with a notepad, and I would be, like, have, like, a point column, a rebound column, like, all the different stats... And I would keep his stats, and I've just always have been interested in stats. So I think, I mean, that'd be something I would do, like do something with like sports statistics and like analytics. Then after the game, David, huh? <laughs> after the games, you'd be like, "Well, David, you suck." Well, David, you, you uh, you had ten turnovers. <laughs> <laughs> I used to make fun of David so bad for his turnovers. Because like when we first started playing basketball together in high school, he that was like his biggest stat was turnovers. He had so many turnovers, <laughs> and I remember we went to Arby's after a game one time, and <laughs> our coach was like in front of us. My mom was like, "Do you guys want anything else?" And Dave was like, "Can I get a turnover, like an apple turnover?" Because that's like their deserted Arby's. If you ever yeah. been to Arby's. And I looked at him and said, didn't you have enough of those in the game today? And the coach, our coach in front of him was like, ouch. And he was like, he's like, Jim, that was mean. But David, you could work on, you will work on not having so many next game. <laughs> and then David went to the eye doctor. David went to the eye doctor. And the eye doctor was like, wow, you're like pretty much blind. And David was like. They were like, you need glasses. Did you not? They were like, did you not realize you couldn't see? And he's like, oh, I thought everyone, like, I thought everyone's vision got blurry, like, at, like, a certain distance. Oh, my God. And he got, he got glasses. And baseball, his, his hitting numbers went way up. Because he said before, he could, he would see the ball leave the pitcher's hand. Then he wouldn't see the pitch. He would literally just guess at where the ball was. Now, I remind you, he made varsity as an 8th grader. He made varsity as an 8th grader. He took a senior spot. He benched the senior as a freshman. So he was a good baseball player, but he was just guessing. (laughs) He couldn't see. And in basketball, he got glasses, and he was like, his turnovers went way down because he couldn't see the difference between people. From a distance, he just saw a body and would just throw the ball. And I was like, oh, and he thought everyone was like that. He was like, oh, I thought everyone couldn't see the the board. Like, I sit towards the front of the classroom, but I thought everyone was, like, he didn't realize he couldn't see. <laughs> Dude, I lo- I low-key... I low-key thought I was going to have that issue. I had to go... Like, when I was at DMV, I was, like, doing, like, license stuff. Um, yeah. And they had me, like, like looking at a thing. 
and I legit like the f- the line they were having me read was mad blurry at first. And I was like, I'm not gonna have a Dave moment, but I got them all right. So or I passed. So Dave is such a loon. I'm so, I I can't believe I never told you that story before. So yeah. Oh, I got we're at 35. Do you want me to say a question? Uh, if you want to do one, yeah. so if, if you, you have one in mind, I'll do the one you, the other one you said. Okay. If you uh, became president, what would your first actions be, or like your first law or something to be? I my law and and I I thought about this a lot because I, in my head I. I like came up with all these questions of like, oh, like, you know, I need to, I need to like think about these when I pitch it to Jimmy to like think of a couple common questions. I was like, oh, this actually is like a really good one. But like, it's, it's not like a super serious one because like I could say like, oh, I'd make, you know, donuts, I'd make Dunkin' Donuts give away free donuts every Friday. No. Um, I would make it mandatory. That work weeks are only 35 hours instead of 40. If you work over 35 hours, you have to be paid overtime. And I thought about that a lot because I'm like, you know, it'd be nice to have that extra five hours in a week just to kind of, you know, take a half day every Friday, you know, maybe just have Fridays off. You know, you work extra during the week, have Fridays off. But like, just five hours, I feel like, would make your life so much more easier. Yeah, I mean, even, like, to have the option of getting home when your kids get home from school. Yeah. You know, because... That, too, yeah. Because, like, for so many people, like, they got to yeah. find, like, two-hour daycare because they work yeah. to five. Yeah. They work nine because, to five yeah. and send their kids into school. Like, the kids get to the bus at, like, seven. Yeah. And then they, like... So, like, if they were able to, like, go in, like, even at, like, 8 and yeah. be done by 3 every day, that'd be yeah. huge for a lot of people. No, um, dude, I, I We were understand. talking about that at church the other night, um, and I was, like, I locally was blessed because, like, my dad could, like, make his own hours. And he, when we would leave in the morning, he would leave, like, slightly before us. And he would get off at three. So when we got home from school, he was home. And my mom was a teacher, so she was like coming home too. So it was like mm-hmm. we didn't have. Now he had meetings at nights that he'd be gone, but it was like nice that we could just kind of come home. Like my mom would cook dinner, and we could just like chill her dad for a bit, you know. Yeah. But. Yeah. Um. What about you? Hmm. I. I was trying to think too. I I stole your question. We didn't think of an answer for myself. Um, oh my gosh, you gave a legitimate answer when we talked about it, and then I was just like, oh. Eh, should I say that one? Eh. No, you can you can think of something else. <laughs> give a give a quick, like just thirty seconds. First thing that pops in your head. Um. Well, first thing that kind of popped in my head. Well, I had like two that thought in my head. Was, like, we talked about it before of, like, having to, like, retest, like, take your driver's test, like, every so often. Yeah. Um, but the other one was, like, something about, like, a mandatory, like, outside time, like. Oh, dude, I like that. Um, like, maybe, like, employers were, like, hey, for, like, an hour a day, like, go for a walk and think, you know. Yeah. Oh, I like um, that. Or I guess another one would be. Um, yeah, I, I just thought of this one more, more is like, um, make like an affordable option for, um, uh, like therapy. Oh, dude, that's actually, um, that's actually, oh or like, God. like make it, it be covered in insurance, you know, yeah. um, nah, like dude, your health I, I insurance. Yeah. Because like, I <laughs> actually, I, kind of had this conversation with your wife this week who i just saw her walk back in the background um she like posted on instagram of like i wish guys started therapy the way they started podcasts oh yeah <laughs> and i commented to oh, her and I, my gosh. I commented i like messaged her and was like i was like ouch or something like that 
And she was like, you're the... I was like, I was like, what you trying... Ah, I thought I said, what you trying to say, Katie? And she was like, you're the exception, Jimmy. And I was like, no, podcasts are just more affordable than therapy. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> um, oh so, yeah, gosh. I would think since with mental health being such a... Um, such a big thing in this world or especially like now like depression and anxiety are like at a whole all-time high um so like in like having employers um making counseling available or like healthcare covering it you know no nah, like dude your, that's that's like you have to to cover oh my god cuz therapy is mad expensive it is it's so and expensive. it's like it's like, like it's one of the Loki. That's like the main reason I don't take therapies. I like look yeah. into it. I'm like, that's expensive. <laughs> it is expensive, dude. It is mad expensive. <laughs> um, and like especially like guys, like, um, suicide is like highest in guys because we don't talk about our feelings. Well, like if we are like, yeah. oh, let's let's look at like a way to go. Let's like. If they're like kind of like willing to go talk about their feelings and like look at therapy, then they're like, I ain't spending that to go talk about my feelings. Yeah, oh, dude, but, I do. not blame you. But yeah, so that's what that's what I would say. Yeah, that's good, dude. Oh, we did forty one minutes, dude. Last last week's podcast, we talked about nothing for thirty eight minutes. And I feel like we actually talked about a good bit this podcast. Dude, these questions, I'm telling you. I, I like this. So please let us give us some more. Yeah, give us some give more. Give us some more. Um in Discord. We'd love we'd love to uh take these and like like these are some examples that they could be real quick and like kind of goofy as like what would you do as president? And like we ended up having a deep conversation about yeah. it or like what the other goal... if you, Huh? Yeah. Go ahead. If you weren't if you weren't in your job, what would your job be? Because, like, me and Austin have been best friends for, like, a long time. And I didn't know he ever wanted to be a teacher. Yeah. I He was like, oh, I forgot. Like, you did all that stuff with sports. Yeah, I did kind of forget that you were. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, this is, the the point of this is for you guys to get to know us a little more on a personal level. Uh, yeah, it was you know, to talk about. You know, not not for you guys to see us as like chicken and 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 shrimp, but for you guys to actually get to know us as Austin as, and Jimmy, uh, Austin and Jimmy, like you know, a little bit more about us. But yeah, if you if you guys don't give us questions, we'll come up with our own questions. Oh, yeah, but we want like if you but, guys yeah if you guys like have a question, like tell us and actually tell us your answers to the questions we did talk about yeah. in the comments or in the Discord. Let us know, like, a lot of, I know a lot of you are younger that you don't, like, the first one wouldn't really be applicable yeah. for you, because, like, you're not in a career path, you're, like, in high school, um, but tell us, tell us, like, what you do, like, if you were president, what was the first mm -hmm. thing you would come, like, policy you put in place to your president? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I'm Austin. That's oh. Jimmy. I'm Dave. <laughs> oh. Stop. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Bye! <laughs>